Welcome to the Healthcare Authority's presentation on after pregnancy coverage. In this presentation, we will provide background information on postpartum coverage and why it was extended, the eligibility criteria on how to qualify, scenarios on when the coverage begins and ends, screenshots of updates made in Washington Health Plan Finder system, and finally, resources on where you can find more information about this program. Background Prior to the expansion of postpartum coverage, pregnant people on Apple Health Medicaid received 60 days postpartum coverage that began the following month after the pregnancy ended. In March 2020, a public health emergency was declared directing the healthcare authority to maintain an active status to all Apple Health recipients unless they do not meet residency, citizenship, or immigration requirements. A year after the public health emergency was declared, the American Rescue Plan Act was passed on March 2021 allowing states to extend postpartum coverage. For this extended coverage, the scope of services and benefits must remain the same as prior to April 2022 and not be less in amount, duration, or scope. The requirement also stated that in order to receive 12 months of the extended coverage, the individual would need to be on Medicaid during the time they were pregnant, and coverage would begin the month following the last day of the individual's pregnancy. Then, on July of 2021, Washington State's legislation passed Senate Bill 5068 directing the Health Care Authority to extend postpartum from the current 60 days coverage to 12 months and implementation would be expected to begin after the end of the public health emergency or June 22, whichever came first. The bill also stated that those not on Apple Health during the time they were pregnant may still apply for this program if they apply within the 12 months of the pregnancy end date. So what does this mean? Postpartum coverage will be extended to 12 months for individuals who are on Apple Health during the time they are pregnant and report a pregnancy. It will be an automatic transition for them based on their pregnancy due date. Those who are not on Apple Health during the time they were pregnant can still apply for the extension of coverage as long as they apply within the 12 months of their last pregnancy. Since this is a program that you can apply for, we are naming the Postpartum Extension After Pregnancy Coverage, or APC. And people can apply for this as of June 2022 through the Washington Health Plan Finder. Eligibility Individuals who are active on an Apple Health program, the process will be the same if you are pregnant, you automatically will transition to the postpartum extension. This will continue to occur, but instead of 60 days, the coverage will be for 12 months. For this automatic transition, a pregnancy must be reported as well as a pregnancy end date to guarantee the postpartum extension after pregnancy coverage. Coverage is for 12 months regardless of a change in income or household size. Those who are not on an Apple Health program may now apply for after pregnancy coverage. To qualify, the individual has to have had a pregnancy end within 12 months, reside in Washington State, have countable income equal to or below 193% of the federal poverty level and not be active in another Apple Health program. Immigration status does not apply and coverage begins the month 
the ind individual applies and is found eligible. So depending on when the individual applies for APC, they may not get full 12 months of coverage. For example, if the individual applies six months after their pregnancy ended, they will have six months left of APC. We will have a scenario to share with you in the next few slides. To give you an idea of the 193% federal poverty level, including the 5% income disregard, a one-person household cannot have their gross monthly income be more than 2,243 a month to qualify for APC. For a two-person household, no more than 3,022 a month. For a three-person household, no more than 3,800, and for a four-person household, no more than 4,579 monthly gross income. For more information about the table and more household members, visit our After Pregnancy Coverage webpage at hca.wa.gov forward slash APC. For those who are not on Apple Health and looking to apply for APC, there are several ways to do this. Or if those who are active on Apple Health and need to report a pregnancy, they can do so by either going online to Washington Health Plan Finder, select the Apply Now button. They can download the WA Plan Finder in, on their mobile app and select Sign In or Create an Account. You can call the Washington Health Plan Finder Customer Support Center at 1-855-923-4633 or submit a paper application or in person at no additional cost at a local health benefit exchange navigator who can help you apply for coverage. During the public health emergency, Apple Health recipients will not lose their coverage unless they request closure, move out of state, or pass away. This applies to any pregnant individual who was on Apple Health or receiving postpartum coverage during the time the public health emergency took in effect March of 2020. Now that after pregnancy coverage is in place as of June, coverage for individuals who are still within 12 months of their postpartum period will be redetermined and receive a new notice with their new certification period. As the PHE unwinds, individuals who are past their 12 months postpartum will remain active on coverage through their next certification period. At that time, a redetermination will be required to determine eligibility for another Apple Health program. Scenarios. In the next several slides, you will see a calendar year of 2022 and 2023. On the top half, we have how postpartum coverage looked like at 60 days and on the bottom half, it will display how postpartum coverage, APC, will look like now that the extension is 12 months. Scenario 1 on Apple Health. On May 15th, Maria is pregnant, applies for, and is enrolled in Apple Health for pregnant individuals with the due date of November 2022. Prior to the expansion, Maria's postpartum period will begin the month after pregnancy ends, so December 1st, and it will extend for 60 days and end January 31st, 2023. With the expansion in place, APC will begin the month after the pregnancy again, ends, again December 1st, and instead of 60 days coverage, Maria will receive 12 months of coverage that will run through November 2023. Scenario 2, not on Apple Health. 
Ava was pregnant and her pregnancy ended May of 2022. On June 15th, Ava applies for Apple Health and answers yes to the question of having had a pregnancy end within 12 months. She self attests to having income at 180% of the federal poverty level. Because she is below the 193% of the income guideline for APC, Ava qualifies the month she applied for it, so APC will begin on June 1st. And because she applied the month after her pregnancy ended, she will get 12 months of continuous APC coverage till May of 2023. Scenario 3 on Apple Health. Sydney is pregnant and a non-citizen. Sydney applies for and enrolls in Apple Health for pregnant individuals on June 1st and provides an estimated due date of December 2022. Based on her estimated due date, Sydney will receive Apple Health for pregnant individuals through the end of December 2022 and will automatically enroll in APC the following month, so January 2023, and receive 12 months of continuous eligibility through December 31st, 2023. Scenario 4, new to Apple Health. Jennifer is a non-citizen who applies for Apple Health in October of 2022. She answers yes to having had a pregnancy end in July of 2022 and attests to zero for income. Jennifer will qualify for APC because she had a pregnancy end within 12 months and is under the 193% of the federal poverty level. APC will begin October and coverage will be for 10 months through the end of July 2023. System Update The Washington Health Plan Finder has been updated to support after pregnancy coverage under the Answer Questions About Your Household. Pregnancy details will now be captured regardless of sex assigned at birth and for all household members aged 12 and older. An individual will be screened for Apple Health for pregnant individuals and after pregnancy coverage when answering the following question, is any household member on this application pregnant or had a pregnancy in the previous 12 months? When an individual selects the field level help question mark, this wording will appear. Select yes if someone in your household is pregnant with an estimated due date or was pregnant within the last 12 months. Additional questions are displayed once yes is chosen, such as person who is pregnant, due date, and number of babies. When an individual selects the field level help question mark, this wording will appear. Provide the date that the pregnant household member expects to give birth. If you are unsure, provide your best guess. And household members who had a pregnancy and for any reason in the last 12 months may qualify for Washington Apple Health after pregnancy coverage. When an individual previously reported a pregnancy end date and reports a change or completes a renewal, the following questions appear. Check the box for any household member who is currently pregnant or has been pregnant in the last 12 months. Do you need to make any updates to this information? If yes is selected, additional questions appear. Is this household member currently pregnant? If no is selected, what date did the pregnancy end? The change report pregnancy related question has been updated. 
When an individual answers yes, Washington Health Plan Finder navigates to the additional household information page and the updated question for pregnancy will be defaulted as yes. The Apple Health Renewals EE008 and the Apple Health Renewal Action Required EE009 correspondence has been updated to include the following question, was any household member previously pregnant in the last 12 months and then last day of pregnancy? Resources. We are currently working on social media posts about APC. More to come on radio ads, healthcare authorities, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram account. We will have posters on APC, and the most recent flyer has been posted at the bottom of Healthcare Authority's APC webpage under Forms and Publications in 15 Languages. For more information about Pregnant Individuals Eligibility webpage, go to hca.wa.gov forward slash Apple Health pregnant individuals. For information about after pregnancy coverage, visit our webpage at hca.wa.gov forward slash APC. And for training and education, visit our Healthcare Authority stakeholder webpage at hca.wa.gov forward slash stakeholder training. Thank you.